In my role here at Intisolve, I conduct a lot of training webinars for Adobe and for ourselves. One of the things I like to do in my webinars is set up a lobby with some kind of music and maybe some looping content that plays until the presentation begins. This serves two purposes. First, it's entertaining. I mean, if you're sitting around waiting for a webinar to start and you get bored, what are you going to do? Probably bring up your email to the foreground and start answering messages and ignoring what's going on in the meeting room. But if you can at least hear some nice music and maybe see something that is visually appealing, maybe you'll keep your attention on the meeting room until I start the presentation. That's my goal anyway. The second purpose the music serves is to allow attendees to make sure their speakers are on, their volume is turned up, and they're ready to listen when the presentation starts. One option you have for adding music to your meeting room is to simply use an mp3 file. Upload that to a SharePod and you have an instant music player. Now this won't loop back and start playing from the beginning, so you need to make sure your mp3 file is long enough to last the entire pre-presentation lobby period. Another way to add music is to use Adobe Presenter, an add-in for PowerPoint that lets you add media to your presentation. One nice thing about using Adobe Presenter for music is that you can include a nice image. You'll probably want to just have one slide in your presentation. That's because when an Adobe presentation switches from one slide to the next, it interrupts the audio, and I doubt you'll want that to happen. On the other hand, if you have multiple songs, you might add a slide for each song so that the image changes for each song. A second benefit to using Adobe Presenter is that you can set the presentation to loop, so this audio will continue to play again and again and again. For that, go to Settings, and on the Playback tab, check the checkbox for Loop Presentation, and click OK. To add the music in Adobe Presenter, click the Import button in the Audio section. After you get the music imported, publish your presentation to your local system as a zip file. Then upload that zip file right into a SharePod. There's one other thing you need to do. In the SharePod options menu, choose Show Presentation Play Bar, and when you see it, click the Play button. There you go, music that loops and has a nice visual presentation. You can also use Adobe Presenter to create a visual slide presentation that plays in your lobby and continues to loop back and replay over and over until the webinar begins. Just make sure you set the presentation to loop and use the presentation play bar to start it playing. You can even include video in your Adobe presentation. With Adobe Presenter, I typically would not combine the music and the slides in the same presentation because of that issue with the music being interrupted when the slide changes. Rather, I'll have one share pod for the music and another for the presentation. There is an alternative if you want to have everything together in the same share pod, and that is to use Adobe Captivate. Uh, one caveat about this though, don't use Captivate if you think some of your attendees might be attending via mobile devices. Captivate output is flash and won't be displayed on mobile devices. Here's how you do it though. Create your presentation in Captivate. Import your music as background audio. Background audio automatically loops and doesn't get interrupted by slide changes. Go to Preferences to the Project Start and End tab. Look for the Project End Options setting and set the action to Loop Project. Next, publish to the Connect server making sure to select Swift as the format. HTML5 should be unchecked. Then in the meeting room, select Share Document in the Share Pod and select your Captivate file from the content library. So now you can create your own continuously running presentation with accompanying music and really make your moment matter. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, and if you need any additional help or training for Adobe Connect, you can contact us using the info on the screen.